Hello folks, in today's video we will build one backend user authentication system in JavaScript. So you can go to any empty folder and initialize a project by writing npm init in the terminal. Then we have to install few dependencies express and bcrypt. So using bcrypt we will hash our passwords. And then we have to install nodemon as a dev dependency. So you can simply execute these comments. And once it is installed, everything will reflect in the package.json file in the dependencies and dev dependencies. So now we can go back to our index.js file and start writing our code. So first of all, I'll import the express module. So const express equals to required express. Then we will create our app const app equals to express. And now let me create one port. I will give the number as 3000. And now we can simply do app.listen. And then here I'll give my port. And then we can simply do one console log app listening on port 3000. So our basic app is ready. And so now we can start creating some routes. So I will create one base route. And here we will have our request and response. And here let me just send something. Raise.json and here i'll give a message and let me write this is the home page now we can start running our app and i can simply write nodemon index.js so our app is now running and when we change this it will be restarted on its own so now we will go to postman and start testing our routes so here i'm in postman i have already created one basic app with three routes one home page with localhost 3000 one register and one login so first of all let me test the home page so if i click on send i get message this is the home page that means our home page is working fine so now we will go back to our index.js and because this is a user authentication system we will create some users so i will create one user array ideally users should be stored in databases but this is a simple app so we will store in an array and here we will have one username and let me give the username as hkm and uh, Ash also has a password and uh, let me give the password as Pikachu and let me create another user his old rival Gary Oak and his starter Pokemon let's give it as a password and Gary's starter was Eevee yeah that's it so our user's array is met and now instead of this message let me simply pass the users and now if I go back to my postman and test it out we can see our user array over here which is fine so now we will create two more routes and that is register and login so first of all let's start working with the register so here let me just create another route app dot and this will be a post this will not be a get because we will be posting our username and password over here for registering so I will write register and here I will again have request and response and now what do we want first of all to register we have to create another user so in the postman in the register we have one body and in the body I will go to raw and here I will change the type to JSON and here I have to create one user and this user I will be posting so let me just create one user with the username of let's give Goku and let's give the password as uh, Dragon Ball Z DBZ in short yeah so our user is made so now if I click on send nothing will happen because I have not written anything so let me just do one thing let me create one user over here and this user will be my whatever I am having in the body so I will be having one username and this username will be my request dot body dot uh, my username and i will have a password and this password will be request dot body dot password and let me simply just send this user raise dot json and this user and now let me just click on send so we get some kind of error cannot read properties of undefined something like that let me go back to my vs code and here also have an error and that is because i have to import something here I have to use app.use and inside I have to use express.json 
only then it can read the properties from the body so now our app is restarted we will go back to postman and click on register and as you can see we have goku and dbz in our body like this is the response so we are getting goku so now what we have to do is after registration we have to push goku into my user's array and also one more thing we have to do and that is here i have my password dbz i want to encrypt it so i will use my bigcrypt library for that so how can we do that so first of all to use bigcrypt what we have to do so bigcrypt uh, does the encryptions in two steps first of all it creates one salt and what is this salt this salt is a random string we will check it soon so i will write bigcrypt and we also have to import bigcrypt for that so i will write const bigcrypt and i will do require bigcrypt C R Y P T B crypt and here what I will do is salt equals to B crypt dot gen salt and my salt is now generated then I will do my hash password and uh, here what I'll do is B crypt dot hash and inside I have to pass two things first thing is my data and second thing is my salt so what is the data the data is my original password so I will do request dot body dot my password this is my data and my string is my salt so my hash password is here and now in the password instead of my normal password i will store the hash password and then i'll do one more thing in the users array i will simply push my user and before that let me also just console log the salt and hash password only to know what are these things and log my hash password and also this chain salt and hash these are like async functions so here i have to declare the function as async and here i will do await and await if you want to know about async event i have one video in youtube so you can definitely check that out so now if i go back to my postman and i have goku and dbz let me just send it once again and as you can see i have a big hash over here so i don't know what is the password so if i'm a hacker i'm in big trouble so now I'll go back to my VS code and as I can see in the console, I have my salt and my password printed out. So as you can see, the first part is the salt and the next part is my password. So let me just post Goku and DBZ once again. And this time we will have a different password. So let me go back to VS code. And as you can see, both the salt and the password has changed. So using this salt, it is actually very difficult for a hacker to break into my passwords. Even if they break one password, it is impossible for him to break all the passwords. So that is why the salt is being used. And also instead of uh, writing it in two lines, there is a way to write it in one line. And here instead of salt, I will write 10. So as of now, you can just keep it 10. This is a standard protocol. So now my register route is done. Now I will do the route for login. So I will do another post. And here I have a login route. And in the login route, once again, I have one async function uh, with request and response. And here, what do we need to do? So first of all, I have to find that uh, whether we have the correct user or not. So how can we do that? So let's let's say I want to verify the user by their username. So I will create one user over here. And in the users, I will use the find method. And if you want to know about the find method, I have another video on that. You can check that out. So as of now, I'll use the find method to find a user by their username. So I will do user.username should be equal to rec.body.username. So basically whatever the username I'm passing in the body, username. And also in the postman login in the body section, I have to make basically another array, not array, like another username and password object. So here I will, let me just pass Vegeta instead of Goku. And now I am not sending anything back. So let me just simply send back raise.json my user. Now, now we don't have Vegeta over here. So what it will do, it will throw some kind of error. So it is it is not giving me anything. So here what I have to do is I have to put it inside some sort of if else statement. So I will try to find my user, but let's say I do not have my user. So what I'll do if it's a not user user is not there what i'll do 
I will do race.json and then I will have one message of user not found. That's it. And then else I have my user and here I will check whether the password is correct or not. And based on that, we will do something. So here what I'll do, I will write another if statement and inside I will use one await because I'll be using one bcrypt function. And here, how can we compare passwords? We can compare by writing bcrypt.compare. And here I will pass my original password. That is rec.body.password. And here, and I will check with the hash password. So what I'll do, I have my user, the user I'm finding from the user array, and that user has a hash password. So I will write user.password. So this is the password I'm trying to log in with. And this password is being checked against the password from this user object which is again being checked from the array whether the username is present or not. So it may be a bit difficult to wrap this around your head, but you can spend some time and do some console logs to find it out. And inside what I'll do. So this is the case that uh, the, the comparison is a success. So I will simply do raise.json and message login successful. Login successful. And else, if it has failed, then what I'll do is I will basically say invalid password. So res.json and then inside I have one message. And in this message, I'll write invalid password. That's it. And I can remove this res.json. So now let's just test this out. So here I have my home page and let me just click on send. I have two people, Ash KHM and Gary O. And now I will register another person, Goku. So send this thing. Okay, could not get response. And why is that? Let me go back to my home page once again. Okay, so something happened to my app. The app has crashed. And why is that? And that is because I'm trying to console log salt, and the salt is not present over you. So just let me just remove these two lines. And uh, yeah, now this thing will work perfectly fine. So now our app has started. Let me go back to Postman. So I have these two users. Now I will register Goku. So Goku has been registered with this hashed password. And now I will go to my login. And let me just try to log in with Vegeta. And it is saying that user not found, which is correct. Vegeta is not registered. And now let me try to log in with Goku and a wrong password. So instead of Dragon Ball Z, I will write only Dragon Ball. Basically the young Goku. Let me try to send and invalid password. Now if I write the correct password and send, I get login successful. Yeah, so that's it for this video. We have created a successful backend login authentication system. And uh, basically this is a simple version, but ideally we should store these users in a database. But uh, that we will check in a future video. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.